Thanks for joining in this quick tutorial. This is how you can easily and quickly change the size or resize your photo using a Mac. It doesn't matter what type of Mac you have and it shouldn't matter if you've updated your Mac or not but please update your Mac if you find out that this doesn't work because it does work on all Macs. So you have a photo and it's too large. It's too large to email, it's too large to put on your website, all of those things. It's very very simple on a Mac. All you need to do is double click on the photo. So I'm going to use this photo of spaghetti that I just took and uh, I'm going to double click on it. If you're using your mouse, uh, left click twice on it and it should come up. There's a big bowl of spaghetti and some meatballs. Uh, for you vegetarians out there, I apologize. So now if you wanted to change the size of this, just go to tools, left click or tap on your trackpad and go to adjust size. You have other options too. You can adjust color and whatnot, but for now, let's just adjust size. Now, this is the width and the height in pixels. If you find you're in percentage, it for me, pixels is easier because the entire internet works more in pixels than percentages. So if you see percentage, just click once on here or left click with your mouse and go to pixels. So 4,000 by 3,000, and you can see here the size, that's very large. You really don't want any photo to be over 1 MB, which is, stands for megabyte. So I know just from history that the width and height need to be roughly at around 800 or so. Here's the good news. If I change width to 800, so it's already highlighted, I just start typing 800, it automatically changes the height. So that's fantastic. Now, if you're going to put it on a website, you generally want the photo to be around 600, but 800 would be fine too, and you can resize. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. So all you need to do is, if you want to send a photo to family and friends, uh, or upload one on your website, then all you need to do is turn it to, say, around 800. You want it to be less than, you want it to be at least a thousand, at most a thousand, or less than a thousand. And you can see here that instead of it being 1.9 megabyte, it's 130 kilobyte. It takes a uh, thousand kilobytes to equal one megabyte. Uh, so this is really, really, really small. And the percentage is going to go down to by almost 20%. Well, it's going to go down by 80% to end up with 20%. Now, here's the thing that scares some people. If I click OK, people go, oh, that's too small. I don't want the photo to be too small. All the computer is doing is showing you what how small it is in comparison to how large it was before. And here's how, how, it, how it's actually going to look. So if you go to file and just save, and I'm just that's just by going moving your mouse up to the upper left hand part of your screen, clicking once on file, then clicking once on save. Now it's saved. Now just click the red dot uh, on the photo. And now double click to reopen it and you see, oh wait, it's bigger. So this is the true size of the photo now. It doesn't look any bit different than how it looked before, uh, but it's a lot smaller in size and it's a lot easier to send to friends and family. And that's the process. Thank you very much. Make sure you click like if you enjoyed this and subscribe and please comment below if you have any suggestions for any other quick tutorials you would like to, uh, you'd like me to do for you. Uh, otherwise, I hope you have a great day.